Hey guys, J-Man here for another Spawn review. Today we're looking at Gunslinger number 15. Um, I have not gone to the comic shop yet, but I buy all Spawn comics in the physical form. However, since I haven't gone to the shop yet, I wanted to get this video out here, so I just got, grabbed a digital copy. So we're gonna review it through the digital copy, but rest assured I'm getting the physical copy because I do like to support my local comic book shop. Okay, I'm gonna review Gunslinger number 15 like I review all comics, books, movies, TV shows using my space method. S-P-A-C-E, story, pacing, artistry, characters, enjoyment. Each category gets a score between zero for bad, two for amazing. You get a score out of 10 when you add them all up. <clears throat> Every comic or movie or book that I review, I review against itself. Every comic book is a promise. They're promising you that Gunslinger 15 is gonna be a really cool read. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be just as good as all the other Spawn comics are. That's how we review this. I'm not reviewing Gunslinger Spawn versus Giant Size X-Men or versus Alan Moore Swamp Thing or Dark Knight Returns, nothing like that. If a category gets a perfect score, if the artistry gets a two out of two, I'm not saying that the art in Gunslinger 15 is better than Jack Kirby's art. That is not what I'm saying. I'm saying for a Spawn comic and what you expect to get for your $2.99 US, are you getting the best art that you can get for this comic at this time. That's how space works. The storyline for Gunslinger, I'm gonna give it a one and a half out of two. Yes, I know, this is generic stuff. Gunslinger, Javier wants revenge. People wronged him, he's been put into our time. He's trying to kill everybody um, that, that killed his family. This is, you know, generic stuff. But I think they're doing it very well. I really like the way that he's met with you know, their characters. He's part of the Scorch team. And he is going down the line, killing the people. So that's why I'm not giving it a two because it is generic, but I do feel that it's a little bit better than your average revenge comic. Plus they've introduced a lot of cool little things along the way, which makes it a little bit better. So I'm giving it a 1.5 out of two. Uh, pacing, two out of two. Man, these these comics go fast. Like I, I just read this, I'm like, oh, I need to read this again and I need to get the next issue. So the pacing is perfect. It's There's lots of action. It's always action, story, action. That's exactly what I want out of these comics. I wish more comics would do that. Please, let's get going. I hate these constipated comics, which there's 20 pages of nothing, and then there's like two page, pages of fight, and that's supposed to be your comic. It's like, no. The artistry, <clears throat> I'm gonna friggin' give the, oh gosh. <clears throat> I'll, maybe I'll give it a one and a half. I was gonna give it a two. Um, it's a bit panely here in the beginning. Oh, the story of this particular issue, sorry, was there, there was this, um, these, it starts off with these guys, uh, killing a, a, a couple and stealing their, their jewels and everything. And then this, this blur thing gets revenge or, 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 or kills one of them. And you don't really know what's going on with that. In the meantime, Gunslinger and Taylor meet up with Waya, who is, I'll explain in characters. Um, he's a shaman and, um, He's been friends with Gunslinger this entire time. He's been alive this entire time, so he's like a few hundred years old. It's pretty cool. So that's why I give the story a one and a half. There's a lot of cool little extra things. I should have explained that better. Pacing, that's obvious. It just goes by fast. A couple pages, one scene, next scene, next scene, right? It's like bang, bang, bang. Artistry, you know what? Screw, I'm giving the artistry a two. I really like the art in this book a lot. Um, like, look at that. That's really nice. Okay, on digital, it really pops. It's great on the page, too. There's, there's some panels, but like there is still a lot of cool, there's a lot of cool shots or you got a nice splash page. Even things like this are always really a lot of fun. I think Gunslinger looks amazing. That's a great page, right? It reminds me of the Wolverine where he's like this over, right? he's like that over top of the, the dead bodies, Wolverine number one. So yeah, that's why I'm giving the art a two man screw. There's a lot of great gore too. Look at that. Booyah. So yeah, I like the art in this a lot. I don't care. Characters, I'm freaking giving the characters a two out of two. No, no. I'm gonna give it a one and a half out of two. One and a half out of two. Um, Javier, obviously Gunslinger is the damn best. He's my favorite spawn. I really like Taylor. I think the guy's pretty damn solid. He's a great character. He's a good sidekick. He's smart. He's, he's a kind guy. Um, I like him a lot. This Waya character that they just introduced is amazing, right? He's a wicked character. Like two pages are like, this guy's awesome already because just the way they, he interacts with uh, spawn is awesome. Um, they introduced this speedster person. Now, I don't know who this speedster is. Is this, I may have spoiled this 
inadvertently by even saying that this character's in here. I don't know all of the Image Comics pantheon. And I don't know every Spawn comic. I, I read Spawn 1 to 50, then I missed 250 issues or whatever. And I started with 300 again. So I, re, I came back on with 300, which a lot of people did, I think, come back on with 300. So I, I've missed a shit ton of stuff. So if this character is already somebody or if, uh, maybe this guy's from like Cyberforce or something, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't even know if that's even still connected. So let me know in the comments if this speedster character is someone I'm supposed to already know. But man, he's friggin' awesome. I think it's a he. He's awesome. So yeah, the only reason I didn't give it a two out of two is that the villain, I don't I don't sense the presence of a very strong villain yet. There's a lot of just generic villains that just get killed or whatever. So the there's not a strong villain yet. But the speed, but yeah, one and a half out of that. Enjoyment, two out of two. I love this comic. I thought it was a hell of a lot of fun. It's great. Love Gunslinger. It's my favorite comic book that I collect every month. Can't wait for the next one. Uh, just an awesome, awesome book. So that's a nine out of 10. Wow, nine out of 10. That's probably the highest I've given um, a Spawn comic um shit ever probably uh, so this is near perfect spawn guys um if you're collecting gunslinger you know what i'm talking about if you're not collecting gunslinger let me know uh what it, is it you just don't want to try it or is there something you know you're not feeling it you're not a spawn person if you are a spawn person you don't like gunslinger as much let me know why as well if you agree with me cool if you don't that's cool too i love i love to hear people's kind of like grades themselves so, um, yeah, let me know what you thought about Sp uh, Gunslinger Spawn number 15. I thought it was friggin' awesome. 9 out of 10, that's extremely high. Uh, so that's really, really good. I definitely cannot wait to pick this one up. I'm going to go to the shop probably tonight, maybe tomorrow. Uh, I do have Avatar tickets for tonight, so I'll, I'll, I might not be able to make it to the shop. But uh, I'll definitely grab it this week. So, yeah, looking forward to it. All right, guys, that is it. Until next time.